Assalamu alaikum YouTube viewers. Today in this video, I am going to describe how you can avail free certificates from world's top ranked international universities like University of California, University of London and Stanford University etc. So today in this video, I am going to describe you the method through which you can avail free certificates. So first of all, what you need to do is just to like the video and subscribe the channel. So moving on with the process. First of all, what you need to do is just write Coursera, C-O-U-R-S-E-R-A, Coursera in the Google and press the enter button. So after searching for Coursera, what you will see are the results of your search. So first of all, you need to do is click on the first website here that says C-O-U-R-S-E-R-A dot O-R-G. So this is the website that you are looking for. So click on this website here. So just like that, I have clicked on it. So this interface will appear on your screen. So as you can see here, Coursera, first of all, let me tell you what is Coursera. Actually, Coursera is a platform where you can do thousands of different courses from world's top ranked international universities. But here, these courses are not free of cost. You have to pay like $50. For some courses, it is $100. But today in this video, I am going to describe how you can do these courses free of cost, not even paying a single penny. So in this video, I am going to describe to do these courses free of cost and to earn certificate from the world's top ranked universities. So moving on with this is the website of Coursera. First of all, what you need to do is just to make an account. So you can click here for join for free. So on clicking join for free, here opens the next screen. Here first you need to do is write your full name and then write your email and then write a password and then click on join for free okay or you can continue with the google or you can also continue with your facebook account okay so now what i will do is just to click on continue with google on clicking on continue with google this screen will appear onto my desktop okay so now i will select the account on which i want to uh, continue onto the coursera so here i am going to continue with my this account so clicking on this account this screen will appear this is the home screen okay this is the home screen and here as you can see is written home so this is your home screen for your profile and here in progress means the courses that you have enrolled will come under this option in progress okay and the courses that you have completed will come under this option of completed okay as you can see that i am going to click on in progress courses okay so these are the courses that i i have just enrolled okay the introduction to research for essay writing introduction to google seo these are the two courses that i have enrolled okay and here are the completed courses okay these are the courses that i have completed so let me show you the certificates that i have achieved so introduction to molecular spectroscopy this was the course that i had done from manchester uh, university okay so i will click on view certificate so download certificate okay here is the certificate okay here is my certificate as you can see on the screen here it is written the university of manchester and this is the logo of university of manchester okay and this is my name written on it muhammad mohsin khan and these are this is the sign this is the sign of the course instructor okay so this is the certificate the type of the certificate that you will get on completing the course from Coursera okay the certificate will contain the name of the university the sign of the course instructor and also the logo of the university okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is now going back on Coursera homepage now I'm going to tell you how you can apply for financial aid in order to get a course okay so the next thing that you need to do is just to find a course okay so first of all i'm going to find a course like chemistry so here i'm gonna write chemistry so after entering the search this these are the results that are being shown onto my screen so first result is introduction to chemistry reactions and ratios so first of all what you need to do is just to click on the course okay 
this screen of the course will appear onto your desktop so the next thing that you need to do is just to find an option called financial aid available okay you need to find this option financial aid available after finding this option what you need to do is just to click on this option so after clicking this screen will appear and the next thing that you need to do is just to click on the continue to the application this is the application takes at least 15 days to get reviewed okay so after applying the financial aid you will have to wait for 15 days for your application to get reviewed or to get accepted okay so first of all what you need to do is just to click on continue to the application okay so I'm just I've just click on continue to the application this screen will appear onto your desktop this is the application for financial aid okay so what you need to do is just to click on shares accurate information on their applicants and the next thing you have to take you have to check this box and this box and the next thing that you need to do is just to write I agree to the terms above here okay so I'm gonna write I agree to to the terms above okay so this continue option will appear when you write i agree to the terms above in case this continue option does not appear it means that these boxes are unchecked or you haven't write the uh, haven't write the correct form of this sentence okay so after after writing the correct form of this sentence after checking these two boxes you can continue you can click on this continue option so the next thing that will appear is your application okay the first of all you need to do the educational background you have to choose your educational background since I am a university student, so I am going to select the master's by advanced degree. Okay, you have to write your edu educational background. Okay, so I have, uh, I have just selected the master's by advanced degree. So the next thing, annual income. So you have to write in place of annual income, zero. Okay, so the next thing, employment status. You have to write employment in, in place of employment status to be a student. Okay, so the next thing, how much can you afford to pay? In this case, you have to write again zero because you are applying for financial aid. You cannot pay any fee. Okay. So the next thing you have to write a 150 words paragraph on why are you applying for financial aid? Okay. In this paragraph, you are going to write, you are going to describe the reasons for applying the financial uh, for applying for financial aid. You have to describe that you belong to a family that is not economically well off. Okay. You have to uh, write the expense you have to write that, that that my parents income is too low and they are only affording my university fee and I have to get this financial aid in order to improve my CV okay so the next thing that you need to do is just to write this paragraph okay I will attach a sample of the paragraph in the description okay I will attach a sample of the paragraph in the description that you can edit and write it in your own way okay so the next thing that you need to do is just to write an other paragraph here here but the question is changed here the question is how will taking this course help you achieve your goals okay in this paragraph you are going to describe how will taking this course will help you in career goals in this paragraph you will write that since according to this financial application that I have shown you on the screen this application is of introduction to chemistry reactions and ratios if I talk about myself I am a person who has a BS degree in chemistry okay so in this paragraph I am going to write that this course on chemistry will help me improve my CV will help me improve my uh, knowledge will help me uh, to understand the basics of chemistry will help me to understand reactions and ratios okay so in this paragraph you have to write what this course will bring you what you can learn from this course okay and how this learning will enhance you how this learning will enhance your career okay so you have to describe all of this in this paragraph okay so the next thing that you need to do is just to select this option no because you cannot pay the low interest loan okay so you have to uh, select the no option here and here you are you have to write that since I belong to a family that is not economically well off so I can so I can not pay the low 
interest loan okay so after writing this what you need to do is just to check on this box and click on i am not a robot okay after clicking on i am not a robot this option will appear onto your screen okay after this option will appear on your screen you what you need to do is just to click on submit the application okay after clicking on submit the application your uh, application will be sent to coursera okay and you the coursera requires 15 days for the reviewing of your application and after 15 days your application will be accepted and you will be able to learn the course okay so that was all for today's video so inshallah see you in the next video do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel